guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing another swipe. I just can't help myself with them. <laughs> but I have been playing around with uh, kind of my technique a little bit using the palette knife and then putting the colors and the cell activator, all of it on the palette knife uh, and using kind of the negative space, the the pillow paint that, that comes up and kind of incorporating it into the composition. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. And so I wanted to show you a little bit of what I've been doing off camera, on camera. <laughs> Still using up some old, older, not that old, but older uh, paints on my bench that I've been using in past videos and they're just kind of sitting there and need to be used up before they go bad. Um, I do get questions about how long your paint can last. And I've, I've actually used, you know, two or three month old paint. You know, if you mix it up and it looks okay, use it. It'll probably work just fine. But if you mix it up and it looks a little, um, uh, you know, funky, don't use it. Just mix up a fresh, you know, for, and, I, and I go, I, I do that with the cell activator also. The Australian Floetrol, especially, it, it, it can last a really long time. I've used six month old cell activator, you know, with, with great success, actually. I, I you don't usually mix up enough to last six months, but sometimes when I mix up like a color, you know, a, a pink or a blue or a red cell activator with the Australian Floetrol, and I don't use it all the time, it, it's going to sit there a while. And I've gone back and used it and it, and it works pretty well. I, I really just hate wasting paint or throwing away paint when I don't have to. But with the US Floetrol cell activator, I've noticed, uh, especially with the, the Minwax and, you know, my first recipe where you're adding a bunch of things to it, that has, a, a, that tops out probably about a, a month and then I have to make a fresh batch. And then the newer one that I've discovered, the US Floetrol at a higher ratio just with the Amsterdam paint, I find at least the white one, the, the black one I got still to work after about a month, the white one, it was just separating and doing some weird stuff. And as soon as I mixed up a fresh batch, it, it worked just fine with the uh, paints I was using. So I, I think that tops out also. And I think it just has to do with the US flow trial. There's definitely something um, in the in that magical Australian flow trial <laughs> that keeps it going. So, okay, I have <laughs> i didn't realize I was going to be talking about cell activators, but I wanted to just kind of give you a shelf life of, you know, the different mediums you're using. And, and also with the pouring medium, I usually make up about 16 ounces at a time and I use it until it's gone. You know, it, it, you're going to want to mix it up. It will separate. I, I've, I've had questions recently about how long the, the pouring medium, you know, mixed up and, and how how much of a batch that I make. I make about 16 ounces and use it until it's gone. Um, you know, if, if you aren't using that much and you want to mix up a smaller batch, that's fine too. Um, but I've probably used it two or three months later and it worked just fine. Again, if, you know, if you mix it up and it looks weird, probably better to just make a, a fresh batch. So, and the pillow, I mean, it'll last until it's gone because I don't, I don't mix anything with the pillow paint. It just is as is. So I just use it and use it until it's gone. So those are some of my tips. <laughs> now we're going to go have some fun with the swipe I had planned today. All right. For this piece, I have got a 10 by 10 canvas I'm trying to go bigger. Well, this isn't <laughs> really bigger to me, but uh, I want to use a bigger canvas so that I can have some negative space. I am trying for negative space with this one. So this is a 10 by 10 and I've already got some uh, pillow paint on my canvas from a prior uh, piece that I did. So this is pretty stuck, stuck pretty well. And the pillow I'm going to be using on this one is my Glidden Premium in eggshell. I have a new container of it on my bench and I'm almost out. Nope. Wait, you know what? <laughs> I misspoke. This is satin. This is the Glidden Premium in satin. I have run out of the eggshell on my bench and I need to add more to my container. But because it was sitting around the eggshell, it was, it was getting to be the consistency of the satin that you see. So all is good. 
That looks pretty good. All right, I am still using up paint that I've had mixed up from prior videos that I'm that have, that have been sitting here on my bench. They're all mixed with the Infinity Joe Sonia pouring medium. And I am just gonna do kind of a simple swipe where I put all the colors oops, on this tool and just kind of swipe around and hopefully get my negative space this time. So <laughs> uh, I, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put all the colors and the cell activator on here. So I'll just show you really quick the consistencies and the colors I'm going to be using today. So the first, the first one is Dioxazine Purple, the Joe Sonia. And this is the consistency of that. The second color um, is actually a mix that I, I mix together two colors. Uh, I've got the PBO Iridescent Blue Black. I mixed that up with the pouring medium, and then I added in a few squirts of the Turquoise Thalo, the Golden Fluid. Oops. So that is what I mixed up to create this gorgeous color. Right there. And then my final color is going to be one of my favorite golds, the Golden Fluid Iridescent Bright Gold. And that's the consistency of this one. And then the cell activator I'm using today is the Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed up with the Australian Floetrol at four to one. I don't know if you can see the consistency of that, oops. A little bit of something there. All right, I'm gonna load up my palette knife and then I will show you how I have it. Kind of like that. I've got the purple first, then the teal, then the gold. And here we go. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a couple swipes, just kind of here and there and I might use to move to a smaller tool if I need to fix an area but that is my idea for for this piece I might come in with a smaller tool and do a couple things right here and here and maybe in the middle. I'm not sure yet. And I'm going off the canvas already. Let's move that over just a little. I'm going to put a little bit more color right here. I'm leaving these because uh, I've been doing a few things, experimenting off camera a little bit, leaving in some more of the white with the color. And some of the pieces I've done are just, they're super cool. So I'm I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging using up the uh, black and white cells intermixed with the, the color cells. And I've also been experimenting with, if I don't like a certain area, I'm just gonna swipe over it again. And sometimes when you stretch it, you see both. That's the coolest thing. Enough of my ramblings here.
I think I'm going to do something just right there and then I think I'm going to play play a little bit to get the design I want. <laughs> well, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. light right there. I'm going to do something with it. Get my stick out for this. That is just the coolest right here, and it's going to probably come off unless I take some of that off. I don't know if you can see right here. Um, underneath you can see the the cells from when I swiped over it that's kind of what I was talking about super cool all right I think I'm about done playing here because I've got so much paint on here There probably won't be as much negative space as I like, but having all this white in here gives the illusion of, of uh, negative space too. Just cleaning up a couple of areas I see that when stretched out may do weird things. Cool. All right. Now I'm done. <laughs> I will meet you over at the spinner box and we will see what comes of this. I've got a lot of paint on here. I'm just gonna. all this to the edge that's okay all right i'm not even going to add any more pillow a lot of paint and i kind of want to go this way and i'm going to 
gonna spin super slow. So I can kind of guide where it needs to go. don't want to lose too much of this, but I want to go this way a little and take off some of that there. All right. I need to spin to get some more off. doing what I want it to do and I have white in there too which is kind of which is what I wanted just kind of guiding it along a little bit I don't want to spin it too much because I don't want to lose I'd rather tilt it just get a little bit more off over here and then bring it back and baby spin oh, that is so cool I love how this is coming out I think we're just about there. But do you see what I mean with the kind of the white the white and black cells? I I like them a little bit interspersed. Uh, I wish I had more, but I had too much paint on here. But just, I mean, it almost looks like stained glass. And I'll point out some more things a little bit later. I've got too much paint on my hands and I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I like either this way or this way for the orientation. Actually, I like this way. We are done. Not touching it anymore. And there's what that one looks like. I'm going to get myself cleaned up and I'm going to bring you over for the flyover. All right, here's the flyover of this guy. See, I just love how the the white the white and black cells form in but it just makes for some really interesting compositions and right here do you see i don't want to point oops sorry for my finger right in here do you see the the black cell the the webbing kind of underneath the color that was actually a, what I swiped over so it's kind of like a stained glass effect I've I've discovered this recently and I think it's just the coolest thing ever all up in here is where I swiped over something it kind of gave it a double swipe effect and you can see all the all the shimmers in here it's just gorgeous I, I just love the the different it's it's not your typical round or webbing cells it's completely different and this right here is probably my favorite where you have the pillow paint coming up and I kind of made a little design and then this kind of in the middle I don't know what happened here but it it's it's pretty dang cool <laughs> I've been kind of working on these kind of swipes off camera a little bit just to just for fun but I wanted to show you what I was up to um and I'm super pleased with this so I will be back once it's dried to show you the dried results and I'm back to show you the the piece you just saw me do and it dried beautifully I'm so excited for this 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 type of swipe I don't I guess there's no name for it it's a swipe <laughs> A bloom swipe um, but putting all the paints on on your palette knife and then just kind of swiping and utilizing <clears throat> the pillow paint and, and any cells that pop up I'm 
I'm I'm really liking how these are turning out. I've, like I said before, I've been doing a few of them off camera just to use up paint and, and having fun with just the 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 composition and, and trying to keep some more negative or the white space, the white and the black space with with the color. I, I it's almost like stained glass the way I've been ha having it come out. It's and these these little cells here, what I was trying to, to get you to notice when I was showing you wet, that was actually a swipe underneath it and then swiping over it. It kind of gives us just this really cool effect in these bigger cells. So I'm totally digging this, uh, this swipe method, stained glass swipe method. I don't know. <laughs> no idea what to call it, <laughs> but I'm really liking putting little patterns kind of in in the um, in the black and white cells that that come up too. And then if you use really pretty colors, and I might do an all pigment pigment one too. Uh, this this is going to be really nice resin. So that that is that piece let me know what you think of it in the comments below have you done um stuff like this before where you're utilizing the pillow paint cells that come up i i'm i'm really digging i know it's not for everybody but i'm really digging the contrast really having a lot of fun with all these different swipe techniques and i'm finding you know especially if you're newer to the blooms technique there there's more than one way to use these ingredients if you're having trouble you know with the, your blooms or your cells coming up maybe switch over to try swiping it, it's it's they they come the cells just come up a lot easier and you get more of a response and a reaction i know when i first started this technique i was super frustrated i, I mean at that time nobody knew ingredients for you know in the u.s and you couldn't get the australian flow trial so it was it was difficult and i wish i would have had something like this to say hey why don't you try a different way of doing it until you can wrap your head around it so maybe try swipes if you're having trouble with the blooms it might it might help and it might you know boost your all right i can you know i can get something with these with these uh ingredients and then kind of circle back with the blooms later too so so let me know what you think in the comments below i uh, thank you so much for watching i i had so much fun with this with this swipe Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.